Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for the period of uh, June 23rd to June 27th. The, re the reason why I'm laughing is because I kind of shorted you guys. I'm very sorry about that. I'm very busy spring, summer, and early fall. So I'm doing the best I can. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe. Can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Pisces for the period of June 23rd to June 27th? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages? Any messages you have would be greatly appreciated. And we thank you for Pisces for the period of June 23rd to June 27th. What do you see? What do they need to know? Weekly reading, please. What are the general energies for Pisces? General energies for Pisces. We have the Nine of Swords in the upright. Alrighty. And make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for your weekly extra, which will have your love, career, finances, and health for the week in there. Challenge position for Pisces. Challenge position. We have the Emperor card in the upright. In my playlist, 2021 Sun Moon predictions. 2022s are coming out next month. So be sure to post your requests up in the comments. Advice, we have the Devil card in the upright. Also in my playlist, what is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instant Code. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Otherwise, we end on the Five of Wands in the upright. So... Pisces, what I'm getting right off the bat is that you're really in a lot of distress right now. Um, really in your head, thinking about a lot of things. I got the phrase, what did I do? What did I do? Um, you know, s sitting up in bed awake at night, um, waking up at 3am, over worrying, overthinking, having a bunch of negative emotions that are deeply, deeply affecting you. Um, is what I'm kind of getting. Now, challenge position, we have the Emperor, which is the card of Aries. So um, I feel as though you're having a hard time being the boss, okay? Um, or taking, being the boss of yourself, being in charge, because the Emperor, um, or, or just kind of regulating things, getting things the way they need to be, following your own rules. I don't feel like this is a person. I feel as though right now, um, everything is in chaos. You're having a hard time bringing order to chaos, creating boundaries, um, you know, sticking to your own rules, things like that. Um, the emperor is very strict. He, he, you know, demands certain things. Things need to be run a certain way. And I think that's, that's what the problem is. Um, advice, we have the devil card of the upright, which is the card of Capricorn. And what I'm getting for advice is figure out what is causing this, okay? Um, the double card is when there are really unhealthy habits. Um, there's there's obsessions. There's, um, you know, there's a dark side. There's addictions. Um, find out what the core is. What, what is causing all this chaos? What is causing all this to happen? Get to the source of it and figure out what it is. You might think that you're helpless and you might think that you can't break free from whatever it is, but um, you actually can if you make like a concerted effort to do so or you get the help or what have you. So uh, pretty much what I got from this is identify the source. Okay. And as you move forward, we have the five of wands here in the upright. So I feel as though, um, and, and and this is this is really kind of general how I'm saying this because I, I, I wanted to wait until I pulled clarifiers, but um, you know, I'll, I'll just kind of like glaze over, you know, kind of like touch on this a little bit. But I feel as though, um, you know, a, as a result of you kind of being like this, however you're kind of being where things are chaotic and, um, you know, you're in your head and, and you know, what did I do or what have you, you're, there's confrontations you're going to have to deal with next week. There's people that you're going to have to deal with who are going to, um, you know, really kind of be bothered by um, something you did or um, how you're being. So there's going to be tension that you're going to have to definitely face. And I feel like you're going to have to face some sort of music next week. Um, okay, so let me see. Why are these cards with the Pisces? Who are these people? What are these energies? Additional messages. And I think you're going to have to face it and kind of like kn know that you'll handle it and kind of get through it. Who are these people? What are these energies? Why is the Nine of Swords here in the upright for Pisces? 
general energies, additional messages. Yeah, something went down. We had a tower card in the upright. So something really crazy went down. It was something, the, the tower fell, shocking, unexpected. Um, the tower is usually disaster beyond disaster. Um, and there's nothing you can do to kind of avoid it. And there's nothing you can do to sidestep it. The only thing you can do, I mean, it's gonna happen no matter what. So some of you might've thought you had more control over it than you did. Um, and, and, you know, it ended up falling apart anyways. Um, but I mean, the tower card, the tower falls because it needs to fall. Okay. It's something that's necessary. It's kind of like when, you know, you're, you're playing, uh, is it pick, pick up sticks or something like that or Jenga, you know, um, you know, you remove enough pieces, it's weakened and, and it falls because it has to fall because you need to start a new game. Otherwise you're just going to be playing like Jenga forever. Right. So it was a necessary thing, um, to happen for you to have realizations. Why is the emperor card here? Okay, and we have the Nine of Swords in reverse now saying that you have an inability to come out of, um, to move past this trauma, to, that you're resisting, um, you know, the inevitable. You're thinking like the, the worst thing possible and that's kind of getting you caught up. That's what the challenge is. Um, you're, you're having a difficult time dealing with this, healing from this, recovering from this. Um, and that's why the advice are telling you to deal with the dark side, figure it out. Why is the double card here in the upright? Queen of Wands are telling you to step in your power. They're saying that you can be powerful and you can overcome these things. So you might be feeling helpless. Oh, I don't have any control over it. I don't have any control over this, you know, darkness that, that, that takes me over or guides me or what have you. But the um, Queen of Wands is saying, yes, you do have the power when you choose to. Um, the Queen of Wands usually... Um, Embrace, you know, if there's a challenge, if there's an obstacle, she takes it on. She's like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to rush in. I'm going to take care of this. And, and, you know, something's going to happen. So they're kind of telling you, step into your power, um, kind of own this and kind of turn this around is what I'm getting. Why is the five of wands here in the upright? Who is this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the five of wands. Okay, so they're saying there there's necessary interactions, necessary conflicts that you need to have, necessary rivalry um, that you need to have, and it, things will it, things will be resolved as a result because the five of um, swords is when there's no more fighting, the fighting is over, um, there's negotiations going on, there's uh, you know people um, or or letting bygones be bygones or what have you. So they're saying that. Um, you know, you need to kind of have these conversations as hard as they are to have, um, even though they're really fiery or what have you, so that you can get to a point of resolution. You can get to a point of um, moving past this and having this behind you. So that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM to set that up. Click on the Vimeo link below for your weekly extra, which will have your love, career, finances, and health for the remainder of the week. In my playlist, 2021 Sun Moon Predictions 2022s are coming out next month. Be sure to post your requests up. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign are also my playlist. Ask me a question on Instant. Go and check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Otherwise, I'll see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.